So the last race from the Punchestown Festival is going to be the Sentanta handicap hurdle over two and a half miles. So big penny for Craig Beckwith, Joshua Sons, Fall of the Judge, David Robertson's Mafal Remo and Light Together, Leon Van Rensburg's Cat Iron, Senchi Silent for Vinnie Gerard, Diamond Star for Pontypool Racing, Darren Thompson's Widmar Paul, Rapunzel for Martin Leland, Pompey Closer for Vinnie Gerard. Jehan Books, Jolly for Pedro Hogan, Pontypool Racing's Dodgy Mistress, Psycho Mine for Martin Leader, Max Relix Cherry, Happy Medium and Magnetic Master for Daniel French, McWalters for Stu Gray, Verrazano Starlet for Pedro Hogan, Day Tripper for Craig Beckwith, Black Yourself for Stu Gray, Alex Cherry's Unshendy Wen and Orange Cassidy for Matt Cooper. A massive field to finish the Punches Down Festival. 22 of them. And another handicap and another hurdle race. I'm not sure they like the jumps over in Ireland as they go over the first of the ten flights they have to take here. It's a Maffel Remo for David Robertson that leads us. A big pack of horses, those ones that are going to why they're going to get affected when we go around that strange bend. And, uh, there's quite a few of them, but it's Maffel Remo that leads us from Pompey Closer that's moved into second. Then we've got Jehan Bucks Jolly, Patrick Hogan up on the inside. And we'll get over that one well. Just at the rear is Dodgy Mistress. So as we go through this first half mile, it's still Maffel Remo and Light together, but as we start to take the turn here, you can see those ones out wide, which I think are Waters. I'm not sure who else, Orange Cassidy out there. Not too affected, but it's Maffel Remo with a three length advantage from the rest of the pack. So Dodgy Mistress at the rear as they get to the third. And clear it. Maffel Remo from Jehem Bucks Jolly up on the inside, then Pompey Closer and Diamond Star the Grey out wide, then Sicker Mines in there, Fall of the Judge, Light Together, Rapunzel up against the Route, They're followed through by Max, and then Black Yourself on the Waters out wide. Between those is Orange Cassidy, up against the Route is Big Penny. Senchi Silent, the second Vinnie Gerard runner, Day Tripper, stable mate to Big Penny. Wider still is Verrazano, Startlet and Happy Medium. Then we've got Widmar Paul, Dodgy Mistress, Cat Iron and Ushendi Wen. That's the field. And they're being led by Mafel Remo with Sycamine. Or Sycamine, not sure. Sycamine, maybe. In second from Diamond Star, the Grey out wide in third. Then Light Together, the stable mate of the leader. I think over the fifth, slow at the back was Ushendi Wen. So half the flight's done off on out again for another circuit a mile and a quarter to run it's Maffel Remo two lengths away from Psychomine Light together Diamond Star and Rapunzel and a further length to Max Black yourself out wide for the Judge Magnetic Master and McWalters going over the sixth Orange Cast is still the widest of all my least favourite AEW wrestler Orange Cassidy just thought I'd put that in there, but it's Maffel Remo that leads from Light Together and Diamond Star. And Sycamine and Rapunzel, the two Martin Leland horses. Jehan Bucks Jolly. Pompey Chaser, Black Yourself. Still wide is Orange Cassidy. Widest of all now is this Magnetic Master for Daniel French. As so they get to the seventh, I'm starting to try and head this Maffel Remo mode. Me, Remo now with Jehan Bucks, Jolly and Pompey close up and Diamond Star light together takes a hold. Black Yourself is still there. Uh, Stu Grey Horses, McWalters also in the black colours. One moving through now and improving his fall of the judge for Josh Sutherland but it's Maffel Remo and Jenny Bucks, Jolly and Pompey Chaser as they all go over the eight. So we're just two to take. Uh, just over five furlongs to run. It's Johanna Box Jolly just by a nose now from Maffel Remo and Pompey Closer. They've got Diamond Star and Fall of the Judge just behind them. Magnetic Masters made up ground. Also Black Yourself between Horses, Rapunzel, Magnetic Master and I think, oof, I'm a bit confused now and sick of mine. But up front is Johanna Box Jolly. It's just noses the lead from Pompey Closer. They're all getting in a big wall, long line as they go over the last, second to last, sorry. And it's Dodgy Mistress, the one that was at the last is jumped himself into the lead. There's a wall of horses here that are all going to lose. And these ones going around this final turn are all just going to shuffle back. So Dodgy Mistress and Jehanna Bucks Jolly are away from Pompey Closure and Sick of Mine. Those went wide. They haven't got much of a chance now. With Marpool, Fall of the Judge, Cat Iron, 
moves him well up on the wide outside is McWalters, but it's Johanna Bucks Jolly that takes it up again inside of Furlong. Johanna Bucks Jolly from Dodgy Mistress, Pompey Closer, Sikkim Line, Widmar Paul the Grey. He's over it. Johanna Bucks Jolly. It's going to be a quick five double for Pedro Hogan here. He's third winner of the day, and it's Johanna Bucks Jolly by a couple of lengths from Pompey Closer. Widmar Paul running on well is, I think, happy medium there. Didn't get much of a, a mention. But another win for Pedro Hogan. He's hoovering up these races on day two here with his third winner of the day with Jahan Bucks Jolly. Pompey Closer was second, Widmar Paul was third, Happy Medium was fourth. Been a bit of a battle for the fifth place, but uh, well done to Pedro Hogan. Takes the Setana Handicap Hurdle, our last race here at the Punchestown Festival. Pompey Closer for Vinnie Gerard was second, Widmar Paul for Darren Thompson was third, Happy Medium for Daniel French was fourth, and fifth was Dodgy Mistress for the Pontypool Stables. And now Grey Clutterbuck. I'll hand you over to Martin now, who's going to take you through the Irish Grand National at Ferry House, and then jump over to air for the Scottish Grand National.